Okay, if you were going to calculate a matter wave for a form of matter, de Broglie said that the wavelength of a form of matter is equal to Planck's constant divided by the mass of the object times the velocity of that object. So, the wavelength of an electron moving at a speed of 15.0 meters per second. Let's see, well, what we know is the speed of the electron the uh, mass of an electron we're going to always look up, and it is on your resource page. So the wavelength that an electron is actually traveling at is Planck's constant, which we do know is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. And we have to divide that value by the mass of an electron, which, according to your reference page, 9.11 times 10 to the negative 28 grams. Now we need the velocity, the speed of the electron, is 15.0 meters per second. Now I'm really going to make my meters per second look like a fraction. Now we have a lot of these units going on. We have grams, meters per second, and joules, seconds here up the top. When if we're looking for a wavelength, we really only need to get our unit in meters. So knowing that, we need the relationship between joules and kilograms, meters squared per second squared. <clears throat> As a side note, one joule equals one kilogram meter squared per second squared. And again, this is from your reference page. So also, we could also say that it's 1,000 grams meter squared per second squared. And since I have grams in my problem, that's what I'm just going to use so I don't have to do too much converting. Uh, let's see, new fraction line. Joules is up in the top half of the fraction, so we're going to put joules on the bottom so they cancel. One joule is equal to... 1,000 grams meter squared per second squared. Now sometimes people might like to see meter squared per second squared written twice. may visually give you an idea on how units are appropriately are canceling. Alright, so if we take a look, there's the joules on the bottom half of the fraction. Joules on the top, gone. An entire meters per second on the bottom half, an entire meters per second on the top, because in fact there's two of them, so one of them will completely cancel. There's a grams on the top and a grams on the bottom. Those cancel. And if you notice, we have S, which is just like S over 1. And S is on the bottom half of a fraction here. Mathematically, we know that they will cancel. And all you're left with is meters. So this really shows how the units cancel appropriately. And now all I have to do is plug through with your calculator. 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 times 1,000 divided by 9.11 times 10 to the negative 28, and also divided that, um, divided again by 15. Should get an answer of 4.85 times 10 to the negative fifth meters. Just be careful of significant figures. There's three, three, and three. So again, you should have three sig figs in your answer.